Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, April the 11th. The time right now in Singapore is 1.22 in the afternoon. Overnight on Wall Street, we have a bit of a volatility, but not very much because the liquidity was actually uh, uh, not very high because we have Europe that uh, basically not open for business because they observe Easter Monday holidays. And uh, what the market did in the uh, US initially was to drop. Actually, there was a bit of a uh, of a of a slide going on uh, in across U.S. equity markets, but around midnight the market started to recover, and by the end of the night the market actually registered a marginal gain based on Thursday's last Thursday's closing price. So if we have a bit of a gain. Uh, Dow Jones actually gained something like zero point three percent or one hundred and one points. So we can see that uh, in the four hours time frame the market remains a little bit uh, uh, what you call it uh, supported, but I think this uh, this this market movement overnight may actually not be able to uh, sustain. I think the market will, once the market breaks this near-term support line, it may actually uh, uh, decline all the way to the 50% mark of the low between 31,800 05 to 33,634.7. So I think the midway point here is a natural level in which the market may be able, able to find support. So let's see whether this pans out to be what I think it is going to be. So I'm still a little bit bi biased to the downside. So watch out for the market to decline uh, going into tonight's uh, uh, trading. So over in the S&P 500, we also see the same thing here. Uh, the S&P 500 uh, only managed to gain 0.1% or four points. So it's not very, very strong recovery. And you can see in the opening market actually goes down before it closes back up again. So again, I think the market is biased to the downside. Once the market takes out the uh, uh, the most recent low here at uh, four thousand and sixty nine, I think the market may actually go down to test the midpoint of three three thousand nine hundred nine to four thousand one thirty three. So the midpoint here is four thousand twenty one. So there is a possibility the market may actually test the lower end first, and let's see what happens thereafter. Okay. Over in the Nasdaq, uh, similarly, I think the market may not be able to go that much higher. I think there's a risk uh, that market can only do so much. Okay. Uh, between uh, twelve thousand five seventeen to thirteen thousand two hundred four, uh, the midpoint here is twelve thousand eight sixty. So I think uh, over on Thursday we can see the market actually tested this level and over overnight last night we actually saw market actually testing the this level one more time so there's obvious support here at the 50 percent mark here uh but the by the way by the look of things there is still the possibility the national want to go higher so i won't be surprised uh, because currently the national 100 and the dow jones especially the s p 500 uh they are not moving in sync uh so the tech stock is still uh getting a lot of beats so there's a possibility the national 100 may actually take up marginally the 13,204 uh that we saw last week so we have to see what happens from here onwards over in asia uh we see that in uh the nikkei 225 we have a bump up this morning to 28,069 or uh, 68 there about and then the market starts to starts to uh, uh starts to go sideways okay so there's a possibility based on this recovery i think that's all you can do i do not believe you can take up 28,282 so uh if the market start to decline i think the next target will be around 27,000 to 27,220 levels okay so this is bracket of prices for time being assuming 28,068 is not taken out this afternoon okay so in hang Seng, hang Seng has actually uh, registered a marginal high this morning now yesterday the uh hong kong being a formal <coughs> sorry uh, british colony also observed uh, easter monday <coughs> I'm sorry, Easter Monday holidays. And this morning it actually went up to 20,750 and it's very, very close to my actual target of 20,800. So we will see. I think the market has already possibly hit its target and uh, we will see what happens as the market pulls back. If it breaks 20,000, uh, then we will see probably the next uh, the next level of support is going to lie at 15,500. So we will see this is a step down thing, okay? So we have a level of, uh, a couple of levels of support on the way down if the market actually tops out at today's high at 20,750, okay? Over in the mainland equity index, you can see that the market actually also went up uh, on yesterday to a high of 4,132. This morning, there was no new high attempt. So possibly the market may have already picked out for a time being so we will see uh, where the market wants to lead us to temporarily the bottom here uh, significant bottom will be at just under 4,000 we will see if the market 
it will decline to this level and then we will observe again what it does okay over in energy market uh crude oil remains in consolidation uh this consolidation has been uh um a week now okay so the high traded this one was 80 81 dollars and 75 cents there's a possibility market may drift lower i still hold out the idea that the market may actually pulls back to about 77 dollars and 50 cents and if it does so then maybe that would be a good area to actually uh, position long i don't expect the market to be able to cover this gap here at 50 uh, 75 dollars and 35 cents if it does that would, that would be a bonus but i don't think it can this round because there is simply no momentum behind this okay uh, over uh, but the one that actually moved last night was actually natural gas natural gas went up to a low of one dollar 99 cent and yesterday we have a major bump up to two dollars and 22 cents and uh, right now we go into a bit of consolidation there's quite a bit of potential uh, in my opinion uh, there is in my opinion the possibility that market may challenge three dollars all the way uh, which is uh, somewhere in the uh, april what do you call it you see march march 12 or march 11 high okay so anyway uh i think that it's a possibility the market may go all the way to challenge the three dollars level so it's there's quite a bit of of potential in uh, natural gas now over in gold it's a bit of a disappointment because i was expecting gold to actually rally uh but the the pullback was actually a lot deeper than i expected now on a close to close basis the market did not uh, break below the uh, previous resistance and support line uh so the low traded yesterday was one thousand nine hundred eighty one dollars and seventy cents now currently as the market is uh, recovering back to about two thousand it may it, it, it may just continue to go higher but i suspect there's a possibility market may be stopped within this range of prices between two thousand and seven dollars to two thousand and thirteen dollars because unless a market can 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 blast through this two two thousand and thirteen dollars there's a possibility market may do another leg down and if we have another leg down the probable target will be at nineteen thousand and fifty dollars okay uh that is a possibility here ideally the market continue to search higher and then take out two thousand and thirty two dollars all the way to two thousand and seventy dollars before it reverse but for a time being let's consider the possibility that between this level of two thousand and seven dollars to two thousand and thirteen dollars there could be some kind of resistance here uh, there is there is very little uh pullback in silver silver managed a low of twenty four dollars and fifty six cents and now he's going it looks like it's going to blast off uh, 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 getting ready to blast off so the high traded this round is $25.13 so let's see whether it will take out this level here and then lead gold on the way up okay dollar on the other hand we have experienced a bit of a uh, of a rebound which is sharper than what I expected but the market actually now has beginning to lose steam the high traded last time 102.48 now it does look like it's beginning to lose steam so there is a possibility it may actually go below 101.09 this time okay uh in uh currencies uh sterling looks like it's getting ready to blast off you know if the dollar index start to fall back below 10109 uh then of course corresponding speaking this currency is going to rally and i do think that the possibility of the sterling taking the lead okay uh in the currencies is pretty high so i'm just waiting for this market to take out this resistance line here uh and eventually take out 12525 okay so i'm basically long in sterling right now over in uh this correct uh dollar versus the uh I, euro versus the dollar i have a little bit of a counter trend look uh it does looks like uh although currently the euro has been supported at 109 uh, so 108.31 okay there is a possibility if the market unravels okay it may actually take out the support line here and if that's the case the market may be looking much much lower prices of course I, on the way down there's going to be a lot of pocket in which you may actually find support now the first pocket is of course within 108.30 to 108.60 which we saw uh, uh yesterday okay so today uh as the market takes out if the market takes out the support line here the next pocket of resistance was is going to be at 107.40 to 107.90 uh, if this cannot hold of course the market is going to go back to 105.16 levels okay over in aussie i think the market is doing the 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 the, the uh uh we call it uh rebound here 
And if the market rebounds back and couldn't go back up convincingly above the bottom of this uh, rising channel, this level here is going to act as a kind of a resistance. And I think the market may eventually fall back to test the 0 0.6565 in the Aussie versus the dollar. The dollar yen, because of yesterday's uh, rally in the dollar index, was a little bit surprisingly strong. Uh, market actually went up to 133.86. Okay, And now this is a bit stronger than I expected because I actually was short at a 133.60 and I actually went back to sell again uh, around 132.50. And the market actually went up to 133.86. Okay, So this was a little bit stronger than I expected. If the market can pull back today to somewhere around 132 uh, 30 levels, I may actually decide to exit all my short position because if that is the case, there's a possibility of, of a larger three wave uh, rally back to 134.75. So these shots that I've taken up, maybe I will exit if the market can pull back to 132 30 levels and then I'll just watch. Maybe I will reposition my shots around 134.75 to 135.75. Okay, so this 100 pip range is probably the new selling range. Okay. Over in dollar Canadian, uh, we are beginning to see that the, the dollar actually rebound back to 135.55 overnight, but it's losing steam now. You can see the market right is is just sitting on the on the bottom of the rising channel here. If it breaks, the market may actually attempt to break 134. So this is looking uh, likely to be the case. So we will see what happens. Uh, over in the Bitcoin itself, we can see Bitcoin yesterday. Although the market has been only uh, uh, half a day, not half a day, uh, half the world is open. Okay, but we can say that Bitcoin yesterday took the opportunity to punch through the thirty thousand levels, go all the way to thirty thousand four hundred and thirty-eight dollars, and now it's losing a little bit of steam. So in the afternoon or within the day itself, if the market does slide back to somewhere around twenty-nine thousand one fifty levels, I think this is an an area which is the midpoint between where the market took off, and uh, this could be one area in which to uh, see the accumulation of more buying interest. I think this market is going to go beyond thirty-two thousand. Okay, looking at the way the structure. Is. So there you have it for the day. Uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.